What is going on guys, it's Waffa here, and welcome back to some more modded Slime Rancher. Now, last time we left off, we actually unlocked two new areas. One of them is over here, it's the Moss Blanket. Don't actually, like, reveal the area over here, we have to, like, discover some, uh, special thing that actually reveals it here on the map. But, we also discovered this area over here, the Indigo Quarry, which is pretty good. We only explored, like, maybe half of it, like, pretty much just this area right here. Uh, we still have all of this area over here we have to explore as well, and I do know there's at least one, uh, other Gordo in this general area, so definitely want to keep our eyes peeled for that. Uh, but speaking of Gordo, we actually exploded a Gordo last episode, I believe it was... Is he in this area? I think he was, yeah. Uh, and that actually unlocked a teleporter, which is actually pretty good. So now we have a teleporter that goes into the Indigo Quarry. If, you're, if you ever want to go over there really easily without having to use one of, like, the pink teleporters, blue teleporters, etc. We can just go over there, no problemo, and then, uh, we'll be able to go over there and just, like, place down drills, check up on our drills, or, you know, check up on other slimes and stuff like that, because the last episode, we also got two new slimes in this area, and as you can see, we can actually go to and from. It's a two-way, uh, teleporter there, instead of just a one-way one, like we had earlier in the episode, right? But, uh, yeah, over here, we still have the lucky slimes and the phosphor slimes. They're still eating a bunch of cube berries and stuff like that, which is good. I do want to see how many, uh, plorts we have out of these guys. I don't know if we, uh, 55? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is a ton! I'm like, I can only carry, like, what, 40? I think I can only carry 40 plorts right now, yeah. Yeah, 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 40 plorts. Yeah, I, I need to do two trips if I want to grab all, all the plorts right there, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, speaking of upgrades and stuff, last episode... Oh, yeah, and then this, I think, takes us to Mochi Miles' area. I don't know if we'll be able to do that this episode, because I do want to do some more exploration as well. I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? But, uh, also, last episode, we unlocked the 7Z Rewards stuff, which is going to be over here. We actually made it to Skylark 2 rank, which is pretty crazy, because these, these cost, like, a bunch of money to upgrade, uh, and then, of course, you get all these other things whenever you buy these upgrades. Like, here you get a bunch of different, like, color themes and stuff with like that. Firecracker Chroma and Grape Shot Chroma for 3,500. We could probably do that once we sell all the uh phosphor plus that we have right now so i guess we'll do that uh but i don't really need those colors or anything like that we're getting 26 from each one which is actually a pretty good amount of money and uh, there you go yeah see so we're at 3900 dollars right now so we could definitely uh upgrade up to the next tier i suppose if we don't need the money for anything else yeah, I think I'm going to keep the money, at least for right now. Uh, we probably have even more money over here with the gold plorts. Let's see, those are pink. Oh, yeah. oh, jeez! 37 gold plorts! Oh my gosh! Guess we'll just grab all these. Okay, yeah, we're definitely doing more, uh, 7Z stuff here in just a minute, you guys. Golly! <laughs> and then 39, uh, pink plorts right there, yeah. Man, we're, we're maxing this out pretty heckin' quickly here, you guys. I do need to upgrade this. Uh, there is actually an upgrade. I guess I could do that real quick. I don't know how expensive that was, but, uh, what was that? Yeah, increase the capacity storage, so I guess we'll do that for 600, that way these can, uh... Now, is there another upgrade, like another, like a secondary upgrade there? I, I guess not, yeah. And then internet upgrade, I guess we could do that. Uh, like, I don't think we really need that, we haven't had any problems with these guys escaping, right? But, uh, kinda wanna see... I, I guess we'll put the sparkly ports back inside there. There you go, and then hopefully suction it up, and then we'll be able to figure out how many that actually gave us, like how many extra slots that actually gave us, because I think right there... It was, I think, either 50 or 100 limited. I don't know if it, like, doubled. Maybe it's, like, 200 now it can hold. I can't really tell how much that 39 is right there, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it can hold, like, 200 plorts or something like that now. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? <laughs> Actually, because these are uh, pink plorts, I guess I'll just leave the pink plorts in there. And we can use that to myth bust. Maybe, maybe later in the episode we'll get even more pink plorts. And then we'll be able to see, oh man, there's like 150 pink ports in there, so obviously this thing can hold like 200 or something like that, right? So, anyways, there you go, it's sectioned all those up, and yeah, there's 39 right there, so. Anyways, oh, and they're eating again, so uh, let me grab those ports, and we're getting another one right there. Yep, there you go, cool. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, 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 you guys said, um, because the sli these guys are pink and gold Largos, right? Like, it's hard to tell because they're, you know, they're, they got the miniaturized, they got the little shrinking thing, so they look like regular slimes, but these are pink gold Largos. You guys left comments last episode saying I should turn these guys into gold Largos, mainly because we can give these guys Q-berries, right? Because I think that's their favorite, or, uh, no, their favorite thing is a vegetable. Uh, what's it called? Heartbeats, I think, right? Yeah, we can give these guys heartbeats, grow heartbeats in there, like we're growing uh, carrots over here, and then we get double plorts out of them. So that's actually a really good idea. I'm actually kind of thinking about doing that. And I guess what we could do is put these guys up in storage until we actually get the splitter slimes, which we find over in the ruins, which are uh, all the way up here. And I don't think we're able to go up there until we have two... I want, no, I think just one more slime key, right? I think I think we just need one more, and then we can go up here, right? Uh, but yeah, it, once we get the splitter slimes, we'll be able to split these guys off into a pink and a gold slime, and then just kind of sell them on the market and get some money out of that, I suppose, right? But for right now, yeah, that's actually not that bad of an idea. I guess we could actually get started with that, because we do have a lot of gold plorts on us right now, so we could convert a bunch of those rock slimes 
into. And then, of course, we could actually just convert this pogo fruit tree into like a heartbeat farm or whatever, right? So I think to do that, we have to go over here, clear crop. Yeah, there you go. So now, uh, yep, that's all been cleared out. And I guess we could just suction up all the uh, all the pogo fruit and carrots and whatever else and just feed it to uh, this guy over here. Oh, wait, no, that's the rock uh, Largo over there, unfortunately. So yeah, there you go, a bunch of pogo fruit right there. I don't know. I don't know who we're going to feed this to, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. I guess I'll just, uh, I don't know. Because these guys eat vegetables. I guess, yeah, I guess I guess I can give them to the uh, to the phosphorus lines over here because they do eat fruit, right? So I guess we'll just give them some fruit. And then we, yeah, we got mint mangoes uh, last episode during a mission, which is actually pretty good because we do, uh, I think we get mint mangoes in the moss blanket, which is pretty good. And I think those are the favorite fruit of the honey slimes. So definitely want to keep those if we ever want to have some honey slimes, right? So anyways, I guess we'll go put those up in storage as well as these sparkly gold largos. We'll go put those up in storage and then we'll be able to uh, turn all these rock slimes because there's like 10 of them. These are actually the rock slimes you got when we exploded the uh, rock largo last episode. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we have enough slots over here. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So we'll uh, just put these guys up over here. And I don't know where we're going to put the mint mangoes. You know, these are uh, calico and then pink and all them. There's like one random gold slime right there. Uh, I guess, what do we, and then there's random, there's five rad and then five boom uh, slimes right there. Yeah. So we got those guys last episode and then, oh yeah, last episode we also got the uh, sapphire and the Oh yeah, just the sapphire slimes. You guys actually said, let me put these guys up in here, by the way, or uh, I guess we'll put the mint mangoes up in there. But you guys said to actually make a Largo out of sapphire and gold, and apparently that's how you get emeralds. I don't know if that's true. I guess if we tr myth bust that I'm like, we have one sapphire plort right there. We have one gold slime right here. We can myth bust that. I guess we could try it. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this guy. I don't know. I might just go put him somewhere else and hopefully he'll be happy, right? Uh, and then, yeah, we have this mission over. I guess we'll accept this before it like, expires or whatever. <gasps> oh, it's Bob! We actually read a star mail from Bob last episode. And I was like, oh man, you guys don't know who Bob is. <laughs> But you can clearly see who Bob is over here. He's like four or five like pink slimes stacked up on top of each other with a trench coat and like a, a hat and a scarf. So, <laughs> and of course, he's asking for a bunch of chickens because slimes love chickens, right? Chicken, chickens. And yeah, he wants a different. He wants a bunch of different chickens. I think those are briar hens right there and stony hens right there and one uh, rooster. And he gives us, well, 12 mint mangoes, five uh, rock largos and 250 new bucks. Nah, not bad, but not necessarily good either. Uh, I guess for myth busting's sake. I guess we'll put this guy down here. Now, is this actually going to turn into? And then there we go. Oh, he didn't eat anything right there. Yeah, apparently when you just bash these guys with anything, you do get plorts out of them, which is pretty cool. But I do want to, I do want to, well, he's not, oh, he keeps on like eating stuff. I don't know. So is he going to eat the sapphire? I don't, he's not eating him. He just keeps bouncing. I'm like, I'm not complaining because we're getting a bunch of gold plorts out of him, but I, th I think he needs to bounce around a couple more times actually. Oh wait, I suctioned him up right there. Man. I'm just trying to myth bust over here. Hold on. There we go. He's not eating him for some reason. Man! Okay. Well, at least we're getting a bunch of plorts from him, but I kind of want to see if this actually works getting like an emerald slime out of here. This is like the safest place to do it inside of a, uh, eat that. No, he didn't. What? Okay, well now the plorts are getting suctioned up. Let me grab that plort before he gets suctioned up over there. <laughs> I don't know, this isn't working. I kind of want to keep trying it until it actually works. <laughs> I'm like, oh! What the world? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just pelt him with a bunch of uh, poker fruit. Sure. There you go. Maybe we'll get a bunch of, uh, and then, uh, yeah, just put him up. There you go. So we go, is he going to just endlessly give us gold plorts? Because I'm not going to complain if that keeps happening. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think he actually is, which actually might be a little bit more valuable. Because we don't need to, we don't need to feed him any, any, anything like at all. Just keep pelting him with stuff. And then he keeps giving you stuff. This actually might actually be, yeah. He's not even eating the- Oh wait, yeah, he just touches anything, and he gives you money. Like, look at this! Look at how many plorts! Like, it's just one guy in here. How many, uh, how many gold plorts are we- 13, 16, 18? And he's still- Like, what does this happen to that? Like, he's just smiling right now. He's not- He doesn't have a big gaping smile, so he can definitely continue to eat. Like, this is actually like an unlimited money glitch right here, you guys. It's insane. I don't even need to make the other uh, rock gold largo like you guys commented. Look at this! And he just keeps touching them. And I guess if anything... Oh yeah, what if we put him in there where there's a bunch of carrots on the ground? Ooh. Hold on, well hopefully he doesn't need any plorts that are... Oh wait. Oh, there's no net in here? I didn't buy a net, really? Let's buy a net over here. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. There we go. Air net and let's get an air net upgrade. Sure. Oh, whoops! I accidentally just double clicked right there and bought something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but the, oh, he's on the out... Yes, he's on the outside now. That's why we need the air net. But yeah, just touch literally anything. He's just going to keep... <laughs> 
This is what I was. Oh wait, no, he stopped. I was about to say this is what I wanted to happen. Is he just constantly just keeps bouncing around like this? Let me actually grab this guy. There you go. Just so we don't get any ports around here, right? Yeah, he seemingly just every time he touches something, like I, I really. Oh yeah, aren't we able to do? And then <laughs> he just touches more. If we do this, yeah, you just touch it more. Pl I'm just getting unlimited gold plorts. I'm not complaining. Look at that. Is this, this might actually be a better idea. Like I don't even need to feed him anything, and he's just giving us plorts. We don't even need to wait until he's hungry. He's just giving us plorts. Uh, well, I, I, I I'm super curious still about the uh, sapphire. Yeah, see, there's right there. Still, still curious about that, but uh, maybe, maybe I have to do it the other way around. Maybe I, oh, there's plorts on the outside too. <laughs> may have to do it the other way around. Maybe I have to give a sapphire slime a gold plort, and that's how you get the emerald one, huh? Well, anyways, we have so many gold right here. I, I guess I'll turn all these guys into gold uh, largos. Yeah, I'll turn all these guys into gold largos. There you go. Hopefully that's going to be enough. There you go. And then we'll give them a bunch of... What do you call them? Here, just a minute. I I'll definitely have to section these guys up here in just a minute. Uh, then we have a random one right there. I don't know what happened to him. He must have escaped or something. And what's happening here? There's just gold, there's gold plorts all over the place. <laughs> I don't know where all these gold plorts are coming from, you guys. It's insane. Let me put this guy... Oh, whoops. I'll put him... Where'd he go? Okay, there he is, right there. <laughs> he keeps bouncing around, giving us plorts. This is insane. There, I'll put him... Actually, yeah, he is a... Uh, he's actually gold... Yeah, he's one of these guys. So we could actually have 11 of these guys, which is actually pretty good. So, suction all these guys up. Make sure I don't get too damaged and actually get killed by this. Because I get, I could definitely take a lot of damage here if I'm not careful. Yeah, there you go. Suction them all up. And there you go. Okay, yeah, we have 11 of them right now, which is really good. And there's a heartbeat right there, so... Whenever I place all these down... Actually, hold on. Here's the, uh, Sapphire Emplor. Let me get that heartbeat. This has already been cleaned out, so, uh... Yeah, I just have to put this here now, right? Yeah, there you go. Boom. So now that's growing heartbeats over here, which is pretty good, so... They eat some? Oh, he ate a carrot right there, I think. Okay, cool. So let me put in the yeah, there's already a miniaturizer in here, so yeah, they're going to be eating like carrots and whatever else. Are there are any heartbeats in here? I can't tell those. Oh, those are the heartbeats grown out of the ground. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And this picked up the sapphire. Wait, no. There's the sapphire. Yeah, okay. There's the sapphire. I guess I keep that. Man, I, I get so distracted by that, you guys. Golly. <laughs> I guess I put the sapphire plored up. Get one regular sapphire slime. And I guess. I don't know, right here we do a myth, little bit of myth busting. So if we feed you, is it are you gonna turn into a an emerald slime, like you guys said, or maybe even a sapphire gold? I don't even know what the sapphire sapphire slime. I need to read about these guys. He's not gonna eat that? Can you not turn these guys into Largo? I, I guess he can't turn these guys into Largos. Maybe you uh, only come across the sapphire ones by actually just finding them out in nature, like in some specific area. Because he's not eating any uh, plorts right now, yeah. And he's just getting pummeled with plorts right now. Like obviously he'd be eating plorts right now if he could, but. He's not eating anything, so yeah. I, I feel like we, we do have to come across an emerald slime, like, on its own. I, I just don't know where the location would be, but, uh, let's grab all those. There you go, cool. And, uh, yeah, this guy's still just <laughs> hanging out inside of there. I guess we just keep him in there forever, and he's just going to constantly just provide us with unlimited plorts, I guess, right? Look, look at that for 40 of them in there! There's 40 gold plorts! He hasn't eaten a thing, he's just been bouncing around all over. Like, I can just continue doing, whoops, just do this. There you go, just keep forcing him around, like this. Whoop. There you go. <laughs> Every, t every time I like, look at that! And there's carrots all over the ground, like there's going to be unlimited carrots growing all over the place, you guys, it's insane. Look at that, just even more, he keeps bouncing! Every time he bounces, that's a gold plort. That is insane. <laughs> Alright, well we've got to sell that. Uh, I don't know if I want to sell any sapphire slimes, surely we get decent money out of that, right? But we have 40 gold plorts, we have another like almost 40 over there in storage that we could just sell, so uh... 385, yeah, and the number's going down, obviously, because supplies is going up, so demand is going down, price is going down, right? There you go. Uh, Tiger Slime, I don't know what to do with this guy, I have to let him loose somewhere. And then we have a random boom plort here, I don't know what that's for. And then we have these this chicken mission over here, eight minutes left, um... And we have cube berries here, I don't know why I have these cube berries. Oh wait, yeah, these are, uh... I forgot we had these grown over here, yeah. So these are already grown, so we could actually feed those rock gold, uh, Largos. There you go. And we have plenty of heartbeats for these guys, so that's good. So we can actually get double ports from these guys, I think, right? So there we go. Are we gonna actually get double? Oh, yeah, oh my gosh! Ports are just exploding everywhere there, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Suction them all up. There you go. Oh yeah, and then this is full of uh, pink ports right there. So uh, I guess I'll suction all those up because they're all going to be uh, rock ports now, right? So uh, grab all those. But I guess we're always going to be hearing like jingling sounds in the background because this guy over here is just hanging out, right? And then uh, there you go, force more uh, ports out of him. You want to get more plorts? Come on, give me some more plorts there, mister. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just unlimited plorts there. It's insane. I don't know. Yeah, like I said previously, I, I guess we'll put all of our uh, pink plorts 
over here in the slime uh, science and stuff like that. We got super distracted there, you guys. Got like, like I have a I have a whole itinerary that I want to work on right now, like a whole list of things that I want to do. But <laughs> I got so distracted by that whole like like slime over there. I guess yeah. It, so if if we ever come across any, because we can't unless we you know get the slime splitter slime and then split those other slime those gordos. In half, or uh, Largo's in half, and then we'd get a bunch of regular slimes, and they'd just bounce around endlessly, giving us ports endlessly, so... That's actually something we should look forward to, you guys. Ooh. Then I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll give all these extra Q-berries, I'll give them all to the fossil slime over here, I suppose, right? Just because I'm like, what else am I going to do with it, right? And I actually get a little bit extra inventory space to work with those chickens. So I don't know if we have uh, too many briar hens and uh, stony hens. I guess we'll check up on our coop if we have any extras of those, because I think it's like two of each and then, of course, one rooster. I need to see if we have any extras so we could actually give Bob over there because he loves chickens, right? He, I'm like, he, he's obviously just like an actual guy and not just a five pink slimes stacked on top of each other. Right? <laughs> but uh, we have a rooster there, stony hens here. There you go. Yeah, we have an extra there. And then there's a briar hen right there. Do we have any extra briar hens? No, I think we just, yeah, we still have the two briar hens. So I, I don't want to get rid of them, honestly. So if we want to get more briar hens, where do we have to go? I think we, yeah, I think we have to go to the moss blanket. So that might actually be a good excuse for us to go to the moss blanket. And there you go. And uh, five minutes left. Yeah, I guess we'll go over there. So I guess the quickest way over there would probably be, and then yeah, do this. There you go. Grab these. And then, I don't know, put this in here, I suppose. That way that gets suctioned up and then this goes in here. And then, they're, yeah, they're growing a bunch of heartbeats in there, but I don't know if they're going to be hungry for any of the uh, heartbeats. Yeah, I, I threw a bunch of them in here and I don't think that... Oh, wait, no, some of the heartbeats are actually ready to go. Yeah, look at that, I'm getting a few of them. Yeah, are these guys going to give me any double plorts here? Or, uh, I, I think a couple of them are. Yeah, look at that, double plorts right there. Awesome. So I, I guess we could have a combination so we could have this guy just bouncing around endlessly, giving us insane amounts of gold plorts. Look at like 48. 48 right there. <laughs> it does look like this could hold 100 plorts right there because 48 was pretty close to the halfway point on that. So that's actually pretty interesting. We're at $16,000 in the bank right now, you guys. It's insane. We have any more over here? Yeah, we have another 40 right there already. <laughs> that's just insane. I, I, how many times have I said that is insane, you guys? I, I'm like, how else can I describe this? Just unlimited money glitch that we've got going on right now. <laughs> But there you go. Get a bunch of gold plorts sold right there. We have 32,000. I guess we'll do a few more uh, 7Z reward things because we have so much money. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, buy the, all those skins or whatever. Slime toy shop. Ooh, so that actually raises the uh, happiness or whatever, right? Uh, or something like that uh, for certain slimes. You have to get them like that. I, I don't know what the rock slime likes. Uh, text again, and I don't know what they got. And, like, I assume the base game didn't actually think you'd ever get a gold slime and coop them up or anything like that, ranch them. So, I guess there's no toy for the gold slime. But uh, these are just more skins and then advanced slime toys. I guess we'll do that for 5,000, sure. Uh, market link. Ooh, market link. That could actually be pretty good. Uh, I, I guess we'll do that. And the grotto upgrade. Ooh, for 7,500. I guess we could do that. There you go. Grotto upgrade, and then the decorizer, Vanguard, Chroma, and a bunch of. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of those, like, color skins and stuff like that. Then uh, we got a thing in the mail from 7Z Corporation. I guess we'll read that real quick. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, I got like seven. Holy heck. So we got this right here. Uh, oh yeah, we already read that one. And then, yeah, they're telling us about the Chroma Packs. We already know about that. Uh, yeah, they're congratulating us on getting Skylark 1 and all they have and stuff. I don't think we really need to read that. They're just telling us about the different... I already told you guys about that last episode. Then Slime Enrichment Devices now on sale. I think these are the uh, toys, right? I guess we'll read about these real quick. Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Yeah, just like I thought. Slime Toys can now be purchased from the shop we have just installed on your ranch. Uh, please excuse the excessive pauses in that last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed some extra time on the installation and we did not wish for our claim to be inaccurate. The 7Z Corporation, giving robots time to do their job right, one sentence at a time. 7Z Corporation, yeah, there you go. They're telling us about the, uh, so I guess that's an extra one on top of, yeah, so we have a, a slime toy vending machine over here, so yeah, we have beach ball, oh yeah, big rock, that's one uh, for the rock slimes, yeah. I'm like, it reduces the agitation and all the kind of stuff, right? But I don't think we really need that, but I guess I'll get it anyways, just for fun, so there you go. I think, uh, I thought he installed a mod that actually uh, installed uh, that, that, that makes, lets me suction up uh, slime toys, but I guess not. And look at that, the rock is actually smaller, and they're all gathered around the rock, too! Hey! You know what, can I get multiple? Or does it only let you have one? Uh, yeah, I guess I can buy another one. Yeah, I've got I've got the money. I guess I'll get two of those. Yep, there you go, cool. Especially because it's, it's going to be shrunken down, right? So, uh, there you go. So they're all kind of 
Actually, yeah, I don't know. Maybe having just one, they're all kind of grouped around one, actually, uh, is a pretty good idea. All right, let's put that about right here. And then just drop that off about in the middle-ish. That should be fine. Yeah, look at that. Look at how happy these guys are. That's so cool. <laughs> and we have, like, unlimited money, like another 42 right here. I need to go get an upgrade for my, my backpack and suction up, like, 50 plorts at a time instead of just 40. Like, look at that. There's still two plorts right there. How many plorts over here? There's already 10! There's already 10 right there, and he hasn't... Oh, wait, hold on. Is he... Oh, he's kind of like miserable-ish. Ooh. Well, you could eat though. You know that, right? Hold on. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, geez. Hopefully he doesn't like escape or anything like that. Whenever he, uh, yeah, just keep pelting him with stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I hope he doesn't like it. <laughs> just unlimited bouncing, unlimited ports, unlimited money out of this guy. I don't know. I hope when I come, I hope when I come back, he's not like disappeared or anything like that. And then this mission, three minutes. Oh yeah, we need to hurry up with that mission. Head on over to the Moss Blanket, try and get some prior hens, all that kind of jazz, right? But I don't know if we'll be able to head back in time. Because to get into the Moss Blanket, you, you kind of have to go in, but there's like no way out, like easily, unless we can get some briar hens from over. Uh, I guess we could use, yeah, you know what? Let's use these briar hens. And then we can, we can go to the Moss Blanket and bring back some fresh new briar hens, right? So let's just do this for uh, Bob over here. And there we go. Awesome. We got a bunch of uh, rock ports right there, which uh, not really worth any money. I'm like, we've got tons of them over here, too, right? We're really neat. Yeah, we've got 21. Hey, there's that number. <laughs> we got 21 rock ports right there. I guess we'll grab those. There you go. And we also, it looks like we have more heartbeats growing in there. Uh, so that's good. So we're going to get more double ports right there, which is going to be great. And this guy just keeps on dropping ports over here. <laughs> Look at this. Am I able to suction up all these? Yeah, he had like 20, 30 something ports right there. And then, uh, boom, there you go. So I don't know, like, he, he looks pretty miserable right now, honestly. Like, look at him. And if he stops shaking like that. Like, he looks pretty miserable, so I don't know if he's going to, like, despawn whenever I come back. I hope not. Let's uh, grab those ports back. There you go. Yeah, see, I'm like, he keeps bouncing on the ground like that. It was just super weird. <laughs> Which, I'm like, he's giving me more ports and stuff, so I can't complain. But at the same time, I don't, I don't want him to despawn, because he's pretty valuable on his own there, you know? There you go. And then get the double ports here, too. Look at that. There's four right there. Another. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm full now, so I can't do anything with all the extra ports. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. I said I was going to go to the Moss Blank, and I, I keep on stalling. I keep getting distracted by this unlimited money source over here, you guys. <laughs> I really need to stop. And then we can put up the extra Mint Man goes up in storage, I suppose. There you go. Or maybe we can take a couple of them to the uh, to the Moss Blank, because I, I know those honey slimes. Or maybe it's the Hunter. No, no, no. The Hunter Slime. Yeah, he likes the chickens, right? Uh, but the honey slimes, they like the mint mangoes, so I don't know, maybe I can take a couple of them. Actually, you can find them in the, uh, in the moss blanket, so we don't really need them, honestly. So if I go over to the Slimepedia, I am still curious about that sapphire slime. Is he going to tell me anything about it? Yeah, there he is right there. Okay, cool. So his diet is fruit. It doesn't say what his favorite is. Slimology. These slimes are rare gems that somehow have come to life. Rancher risks. Be careful because these slimes are very spiky. Well, obviously, they're like the Reich slimes, right? Plortonomics. These plorts sell for a lot. Somehow they get popped out when you feed a gem slime a fruit. And for some reason, they don't have any spikes on them. <laughs> okay, well, for curiosity's sake, I guess we'll go check the uh, the market over here. So, uh, so, yeah, sapphire ports are actually up 278 right there, which is pretty good. The uh, emerald ones are still the best at the 682 right there, and diamonds are, like, the worst. Actually, hold on, yeah. Amethyst is up a ton. It's at 930. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, we can find those in the Moss Blanket, because it seems like the uh, Indica Quarry is where you find the other ones, the, uh, the, the sapphire ones that we actually have right now, right? But uh, boom plow, I don't know, we have a random boom plow. I guess we'll just get rid of that. I probably should have sold that, honestly, but I'll just get rid of it that way, right? <laughs> then we have a uh, tiger slime over here. I don't know, we have a bunch of chickens, which is actually a pretty uh, good area for him, but I guess we'll just drop him off over here with his friends and family, right? So uh, here you go, plenty of chickens, calico slimes, and other things for you guys to hang out with. Okay, cool. So anyways, guess we'll, guess we'll go over here to the moss blanket, explore this a little bit, and grab some, uh, some cube berries right there, just in case we need those for anything. Haven't come across any, uh, what do you call them right now? What do you call them? Uh, uh, feral slimes, yeah, a little slime, uh, slime sign right there, but I haven't come across any, which is actually pretty good. I do believe there is a box over here. Actually, hold on, is there a box at the end of this bridge here? This unfinished bridge? I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, I guess we'll section that up and open that up. It's just going to be a uh, an ornament or whatever, right? So I guess we'll save that until we're back at the base. Because so we've got a bunch of ornaments just kind of floating around back there. <laughs> but let's just grab these two crates right there. There you go. Cool. Then we'll go inside the Moss Blank and explore around here. And uh, yeah, we don't have any slime keys right now, but there is an entrance. I think that way. Which if we go into the Moss blanket, yep, down here, and then here we go. Oh, oh, oh what's that? What's that? The cheat! We found the cheese slime immediately! <laughs> Oh, no. Well, that's saying the slime PD. Let me pull that up. It went away too quickly. Uh, the cheese slime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that came across. Uh, I guess that was in the same mod as the 
doge slime and the cheese slime and the calico slime. So that's pretty interesting there. But the cheese slime, the slime was found by Discord mods when checking their armpits. <laughs> Any loose favorite uh, food is meat. And then favorite. So cheese slimes like to eat cheese. What? The slime is insane and will eat its brothers. Beware. Don't corral them in the same pen. Ooh, or pen, I guess it's supposed to say there. And then you guys actually did, yeah, you guys commented saying the Doge Slime's favorite food is the Chickadoo, which is actually pretty interesting there. Calco Slime, yeah, I think I already said something about it, the diet being meat, but its favorite thing is parsnips there. But the Cheese Slime, so I guess if we ever have one of these, we just have to have it on its own. Rancher Risks, the glitchy nature of these creatures. I guess we have to be aware of their glitchy nature. Actually kind of surprised we came across it like just instantly in here. And the Portonomics used to create Discord Cheese. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to know where that came Oh wait, there's another one, wait! I thought there was supposed to be, and there's a, what is that? A bee slime? You ever wonder how honey, how the honey slimes were made? We got bee slimes in here now? What in the world? I was not aware, like, I, I, I know I installed a few. Oh, what is that? Cherry blossom slime. What in the, get rid of the, get rid of that. Cherry blossom slime. These got eaten to create honey slime. So that's kind of like the, uh, oh, I forgot what it was called, but I think you find it in the, uh, not in the ruins, but the, uh, Whatever this thing was over here, I forgot what this was called. The glass desert. I think it, oh, there's another one right there. I need to read more. Look at all this. We found a bee slime. We found a cheese slime. Uh, whatever, whatever the cherry blossoms. We got a lot of stuff right here, you guys. Insane. Cherry blossom slime. Favorite. The diet's meat. And the favorite is painted hens, which we find in the glass desert. The slime will help increase the honey slime population. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well, I'm like it makes sense. It's got a big flower on its head, right? And uh, flowers of po. Wait, what? Flowers of poison. Uh, well, I'm, I know it's misspelled right there, but I can I can kind of understand what it says. Then Plortonomics. These plorts are used to create honey plorts. Ooh, interesting. And then we have the bee slime. So I, I assume these, the bee slime and the cherry blossom slime kind of coexist to make honey slimes, right? So if we make them, I don't know. What if we make a bee cherry blossom largo? Are we just going to get a honey slime? I don't know. Anyways, the bee slime. Uh, the diet is flowers, obviously, right? And the favorite is cherry blossom. So I guess he eats the cherry blossom slime, which is I'm like a self-explanatory. <laughs> the slime helps grow the amount of honey slimes. And then rancher risks stings. But as long as you don't bully them, nothing should go wrong. That makes sense. And then poor novice is kind of glitched right there. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to actually say. It seems like there's another slime, perhaps related to the cheese slime, calico slime, pea slime, cherry blossom slime, etc. Uh, that we haven't come across just yet. So you want to keep our eyes peeled for that. And then what's that? Oh yeah, there's a honey slime just right there. I want to have the ah oh, man. Here, get rid of that right there. And then there we go. We got the honey slime. So I guess what happened is maybe a bee slime ate a cherry blossom slime and then became the honey slime. Because you don't find the honey slimes in this area, this entrance area. And then what's that? Is that cheese? I think that's a cheese plort. Kind of reminded me of the uh, the the quantum slime honestly. And then there's a chickadee right there. Yeah. Interesting. We're we're coming across some very interesting things here. You guys, insane. We have some cuberries. I guess we'll drop that off. So yeah, is that a yeah, a cheese plort. It looks just like the quantum uh, plort. It's even glitching just like it too. So very curious to see how much money we're going to get out of those, you guys. And there's another one right there. I guess we'll grab that. Yeah, we have two bee slimes, three cherry blossom slimes. That should be enough to experiment around with them, right? Then inside of here, there's another Hobson thing we could read right there. And then we should be able to come across more briar hens because I do want to get some replacements because we did indeed use uh, our only two briar hens for the mission for Bob earlier on, right? So if we want to get some briar hens here in just a minute, the moss blanket may seem like an ancient jungle of sorts, but the fact is that much of what you see around here wasn't even around when I first began exploring this land. At this rate, I reckon that it won't be long before this greenery completely overtakes the far, far range. Hobson. Yeah, that's actually going to be pretty interesting, especially that way towards the, uh, the, the, oh, the, oh yeah, that's like a big yarn ball that this guy plays with. I forgot about that. <laughs> then we have another cheese slime right there. I guess we'll grab you. Uh, but yeah, if it keeps going that way towards the dry reef, yeah, I would not complain one bit because that just means more uh, honey slimes, right? But uh, yeah, there's just more cherry blossoms. I don't know if it adds more Gordos. I, 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 we haven't seen any uh, modded Gordos just yet, but maybe we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. But yeah, there is a, uh, I guess we'll get rid of that because we're going to get more ports here in the future anyways. But there's a Briar Hen right there. We need to get at least two, I think, right? Oh, hey, look at that, another bee, uh, bee slime right there. Cool. So that's pretty interesting. So they, they spawn here, which makes sense because I'm like, that's how the honey slime is made in the first place. Then up here, what's up here? Oh yeah, there's like a little pathway down here, so... Yeah, I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for any, uh, any more briar hens, but I'm not seeing any right now, unfortunately. Oh wait, hold on. There we go, so we got a second one right there. Okay, good. So we actually have a pretty good amount of briar hens right now, which is pretty good. I hear some weird sound, is that... What is making that sound? Is that the, uh, cherry blossoms slime making that sound? 
And this is Rooster right there. Yeah, that must be the cherry blossom slime making that weird, like, like, like jiggling sound. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> but that, that's pretty interesting there. And then, yeah, we have some feral slimes this way. See, like, I, my, my inventory. Oh, wow. We have a, uh, so we have a cheese slime right there and then a bee slime. I guess we'll grab you. And we have some random doge slimes over here, too. And then, yeah, boom slimes over here. Yeah, I got a comment from someone saying, uh, boom slimes are in the moss blanket. I, it looks like they're actually in both the moss blanket and the indigo quarry. And boom! Got a random uh, gray teleporter blueprint right there. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm not going to complain. So let's uh, fill this up with some water so we can get rid of any uh, tars. We have another honey slime right there. Cool. We have, uh, yeah, more briar hens over here. I guess we'll grab as many as we can, right? So uh, there you go. J instead of just limiting ourselves to only two. So there you go. We have four. We actually have a pretty good amount. Uh, it's just a regular hen hen there. It's a regular hen hen there. Another cheese slime right there. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world is that? Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the cherry blossom eating the chickens. Oh, jeez, I'm getting killed by the boom slime. Ah, need to watch out here, you guys. Golly. And it looks like one of the bee slimes must have eaten the cherry blossom and turned into a, oh, speaking of bee, hey, there's another one right there. And then, hey, look at that, another honey slime right there. Yeah, I'll definitely grab as many of them as I can, right? So that's pretty good. And I think this way, this isn't this the end of the, uh, yeah, I think that way is the end of this area. And then there's some more cheese slimes right there. I don't know what in the world I should do with all the cheese slimes, honey slimes, bee slimes, cherry blossoms. I'm like, obviously, you need to kind of combine those two together and get honey slimes, right? And they kind of look like syrup slimes, like I called them in the first series. <laughs> then, yeah, we have a... Oh, there's another bee slime right there. I guess I'll grab you. And I grab you. There we go. And then we can experiment... Ah! I'm getting killed right here. <laughs> we'll experiment around these guys once we get back home. I think there's a teleporter over here, right? I thought there was. Oh, yeah, there is one back there. Cool. Just seeing if there's anything else we might have missed out on over here, and I don't think so. But yeah, this is going, this is going to be a one-way teleport back home. Hey, look at that. We got a uh, secret skin thing over here. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got the royal jelly skin for the, uh, the honey slimes. Ooh. I kind of like it. It's pretty interesting. He's got the little crown or whatever. I guess we'll place it down real quick. And yeah, we're back here at the base. Uh, see, look at that, he's got a little crown on him, but he doesn't look like a honey slime anymore. I'm like, in the first series, we did have, we did keep their default skin, so I guess, I guess we'll, uh, keep these as royal jelly slimes, at least for right now. And of course, these guys eat the, uh, the mint mangoes, right? As their favorite, f uh, as their favorite, and this guy keeps bouncing around. <laughs> oh my god, I just come back and he just keeps bouncing all I guess there's just so many carrots over here, he's so miserable too, no! He's gotta eat something, we need to give him a guild of ginger, but we can't. Ah, man. But at least, at least we do have the mint mangoes. We can give to these guys, so we can give them double plorts or whatever. I just don't know what else we should do with these guys, honestly. And then, of course, we have the party crates over here. I guess we'll just uh, explode these. Nope. There, I get some more ornaments. So we actually have another mission over here. I guess we'll see what this is real quick. Who's this from? Oh, yeah, we could actually choose who it's from. Uh, I think we did something for both Ogden and Victor Humphreys beforehand. Maybe we'll do Victor Humphreys, at least for right now. So there you go. I'm afraid that one of my studies has gone a bit... Well, please get me these things at once. Hopefully it didn't go too bad right there, right? But he does want some crystal slimes and boom slimes and tabby slimes there. Ooh. And it'll give me a diamond and a thousand. Ooh, that's some good money there, you guys. Ooh. Well, I do want... I don't know. I, I guess we can grow a mint mango tree in here or something like that. Let's get an internal garden. Boom. Let's go get some mint mangoes. Get those grown, and that's going to be good for the, uh, the honey slimes, right? So, uh, oh, there you go. And I, I, I guess I can give them a few mint mangoes. We have some extra mint mangoes over here. So I guess I can just feed them, make sure that they're nice and uh, fully happy or whatever, right? So there you go, 12 of them right there. And yeah, we have a mint mango tree growing inside of here now, so that's pretty cool. But let's actually feed these guys, get some double plorts out of these guys. Interesting stuff here. And then yeah, their 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 plorts are purple now, which is pretty cool. Which I, I think that I think one of my mods actually did that, right? Where their secret skin like like matches their uh their their plorts and their, like their gordos and all the kind of stuff, which is actually pretty good for consistency's sake, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, so now we have some purple uh plorts over here, and we have some tabby plorts. I guess we could sell those, and then we have the uh. These guys, I guess we'll give them all mint mangoes. There you go. If, if they ever want to eat something, if they're hungry, there's plenty of mint mangoes for them to eat over there, so that's going to be fine. Then uh, we have cherry blossom slime, briar hens. Yeah, let's go drop off the briar hens over here because we don't have any. So uh, there you go. We have, wow, we have a lot of rooster. We have like four or five roosters in here, you guys. That's amazing. Awesome. And then we have royal jelly plorts. Uh, so how much are we going to get from those? I think that's it right there. 83. That's not too bad. I guess we'll sell those real quick. Then, uh, unfortunately, it's not the Sapphire Plor, or else we'd be getting insane amounts of money, right? Then we have Bee Slime, we have Cheese Slime, Tiger Plors. We get uh, 30 worm from those. Eh, I can't complain. I think... Which one is the Cheese... Or the... Yeah, which one's the Cheese Plort? Because that's the... I think that's the Quantum Plort. I, I guess the Cheese Plort... I have to look at this, right? So where, where would this be on this? Uh, cheese Plort. It'd probably be all the way down here, right? 
Yeah, cheese. Okay, cheese board is actually pretty good. 333. Tickle Monster Plur. That's probably the one that uh, is is on the Slimepedia at the very bottom that we haven't found yet. Probably have to find that in maybe the Glass Desert or something like that, right? Cherry Blossom Plur. So that's 50 right there. Not bad. Doge Plur, Tar Plur, Quick, Quicksilver. Slime. So if I actually sold the actual literal slimes themselves, Royal Jelly Slime gives us 239, which is okay. But and then yeah, Tangle Slime. Yeah, Tangle Slime is the original. Where is it on here? The Cherry Blossom Slime. The Cherry Blossom is just kind of a reskin version of that. Kind of like how the, the Sapphire Slime is like just a reskin version of the Rock Slime. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think you can actually sell them. I'm not I'm not seeing them on here. It seems like you can only sell the default uh, slimes over here, like Quicksilver, Gold, Fire, Lucky, etc. Doesn't seem like you can sell the modded slimes, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, we have the Cherry Blossom Cheese Slime. I don't know. I guess we'll buy another silo over here for more storage. <laughs> we can experiment with these guys next episode or something like that, I suppose. So let's get another silo, do a full upgrade over here. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Cool. Then uh, I guess we'll put the Cherry Blossom Slimes here. There you go. And then the Cheese Slimes. Or let's do the B slimes here, and then the cheese slimes, they're like completely glitchy or something like that, right? So, I don't know, let's experiment with them next episode. We got 10 of those things. Gee, <laughs> way more than we actually need. And then, uh, these guys... Yeah, I think they're all hungry, or they're all happy right now. Yeah, they got big gaping mouths, so they don't need to eat those mint mangoes. So that's actually pretty good. So, what do we need for this guy's mission? And then we'll probably end off the uh, video, honestly. So, boom, six... Yeah, six boom slimes, four crystal slimes, and four tabby slimes. So that should be easy. Uh, oh yeah, and then slime signs. I'm very curious, because I, I do, we just got the gray teleporter. How do we get the pink teleporter? Uh, can we get any drills or anything like that? I kind of want to see real quick, honestly. Hopefully we're uh, not missing anything too, because now we're able to get like honey plorts and all that kind of stuff, right? And I do know, yeah, you do need, uh, yeah, oh wait, no, you do wild honey and then quantum plort, hunter plort. Oh yeah, you do need royal jelly plort. So those are the honey plorts. Just because they're reskinned now, it says Royal Jelly Port. But we need 18 of those to get a drone, which makes sense because this is a literal, like, bee looking thing. And then Pink Teleporter. Yeah, we need a Sparkly Port, the Deep Brine. So, yeah, it definitely makes sense that we need to get the extractor things over here. So, yeah, we need Rad Ports. We don't have any of those right now, but we do have the Rad Slimes. So, we could actually get some uh, Rad Ports here in just a minute if we want, which I definitely want to. So, we can actually place down some Novice Drills and then our Novice Pumps. We need to place those here in the, uh, what do you call this? The Indigo Cora, not the Indigo Quarry. The dry reef and then uh, these apiaries place those in the moss blanket that we were just in right uh phosphor floors and royal jelly floors yeah we could actually get some apiaries pretty easily just need to go get some uh phosphor because i sold all of those just needed to actually uh put them over here at the uh at the slime science area and then we'd actually use them for the apiaries but to get a pump we need a tiger floor and boom floor yeah i think i'm going to go grab some of those rad slimes that we have i forget what they eat i think they eat oka okas as their favorite food right so i, I guess we just give them carrots or something like that and then we'll still get some ports out of them which is going to be fine at least for right now, because we just need three of them. Then we'll just get like one drill or something like that, and then that'll be uh, good to go to actually get done. Oh yeah, let's go grab them over here. Yeah, they're the right. Yeah, so we have five of them, so we can grab them. And then, well, yeah, while we're in the area, let's actually grab said Oka Okas, because we do need those to actually get... I don't know, can we, should we place them in here? This guy's still... <laughs> He's still exploding over here, giving us an unlimited amount of gold plorts, which is pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll just lay these guys in here. They could eat a bunch of uh, a bunch of the carrots and hopefully give us some ports and stuff like that. Maybe I'll suction up some of the carrots and actually throw them at them. Yeah, they're oh yeah, look at that. They're actually eating the carrots and because they're just vegetables. They're, they're they're not their favorite food or anything like that. They're just giving us singular ports, which is fine. I guess I'll suction them up and I should get some. Uh, yeah, there you go. Five rad ports right there. Awesome. Okay, suction these guys back up. Then we'll put them back in storage and then uh, maybe next episode we we'll actually have a more permanent location for them. As this guy's still bouncing around, <laughs> giving us ports and stuff. Hold on. Yep, pelt them with uh, carrots to give them more plorts. Yep, there you go. I don't know. It, it kind of feel I, I kind of feel bad for him honestly, because it, it, that's all his life is just bouncing around giving me plorts like he's like he's basically a farm animal. But at the same time, that's all these slimes are over here anyways, right? So I don't know. I just feel bad for him because he's he's not he's not happy. He doesn't have a big gaping smile on his face. So I don't know. At least for me, that's, that's just how I feel about this whole situation here. I'm like, at least we're getting a lot of money out of him, but at what cost? He looks kind of miserable, you know? <sighs> I don't know. I guess we'll just sell these plorts, uh, put the rad slimes back up in storage, go back to the Indigo Quarry, at least for a few minutes, to go uh, grab some boom slimes and uh, tabby. Yeah, I think we can find tabby slimes over there too, right? Don't want to put, don't want to sell the rad plorts. Even though we do get 70 for each, I'm like, we're getting 385 from each uh, gold plor, so yeah, 44,000. <laughs> let's actually see what our uh, 7 rewards are right now. We might be able to. Yeah, 10,000 for the next one. We get the Decorizer. Slime Trophy 1. 
and then some more colors. Yeah, we're just short of being able to buy this. That's 20, 20,000. See, every every time that you level up on the 7Z rewards thing. Hey, look at that. We got the blue teleporter. Cool. We got this cool slime trophy right there. So <laughs> that's pretty interesting. And I know that just keeps stacking up and up and up uh, in the future once we get more and more slime trophies and whatnot. But uh, so I guess we'll go throw the rad plort and the sparkly plort up inside the, uh, the area over here. Then we should be able to make at least one drill. I think we're like one rad plort away from being able to make a second drill. So uh, let's actually just make one drill. Yeah, novice drills. Get this. So there you go. So we have one drill right now. Let's go over to the, what do you call it? The indigo quarry. And then, yeah, right here is where the, uh... oh, wait, which one is this again? Oh, yeah, this is the decorizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, withdrawal echoes, ornaments. Yeah, so, yeah, I have all those ornaments up in storage. I, I need to go, like, deposit those. Deposit those inside the uh, decorizer. That way they're all out in the open and all that kind of stuff. And we actually uh, use the ornaments all around our branch if we ever feel like it, right? But yeah, over here are the, uh, the plorts for these guys. They're all happy or... Yeah, they're all happy. Okay, that's good. That's good. And yeah, 77, 77 of these. <laughs> Jeez. I guess I'll grab... Uh... Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'll grab them on the way back. I should have 17 right now. I have plenty of them. Yeah. I, I just don't know how long whatever Victor Humphrey's mission really lasts. I guess I'll grab 40... And then, yeah, let's go to, yeah, let's go deposit those right now. I was about to say, I'm so conflicted right now because trying to end off the episode while also trying to explore and still do the Victor Humphreys mission before it expires and all the kind of stuff. I'm so conflicted over you guys. There's so much stuff to do in Slime Rancher, especially mod Slime Rancher. I'm so preoccupied. Like earlier in the episode, we spent like 10, 15 minutes just messing around with gold slimes and gold Largos and all the kind of stuff. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, if we ever come across any more gold slimes, I guess we'll just throw them all in that one area and they'll just endlessly bounce around inside there and just give us endless amounts of gold plorts. But anyways, let's just go back over here. Uh, we did deposit a bunch of the gold uh, or the phosphor plorts inside of there, so we should be able to make the apiaries once we get the uh, royal jelly plorts and stuff, stuff like that, right? But from here, I think, where do we go? I think we go this way or where does this go? Oh yeah, so we're, yeah, I know where this is now. Okay, cool. So we need to get crystal slimes, which I think to get them, we need to go up here. So we need to get crystal slimes, we need to get Boom slimes and I think, oh yeah, wow, okay. Boom slimes, let's grab these guys before they turn into Largos. So there you go, grab them. And especially because before they explode too. There's another one right there. Grab them, grab them, grab them. Got them, we have five of them. I don't know how many boom slimes I need, but I think that might be fine, honestly. And then we get rid of you, and then there's a chicken right there too. Uh, then, oh yeah, cool. So we have some uh, heartbeats right there. I guess we could feed them to the, uh, is this it? I think it is. Okay, cool. I know this is where we find the crystal slimes. Yeah, there's like a cave over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the crystal slimes, are they in here? Yep, they are. Oh, oh yeah, and then they have the sapphire slimes too. Ooh, yep, there's a crystal slime right there. It's uh, it's as clear as shiny, transparent rocks that these slimes are dangerous. Oh, another gold, another gold. Get rid of the rock, another gold, you guys. Oh my gosh, so we could have two of these things. Holy heck. Oh, there's a, wait, there's another one? I can hear him. Where is he, where is he, up here? He is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm trying to suction him, but he won't come down. Oh, how do I get up there? How do I? Okay, uh, grab the crystal, grab the crystal slimes. Saf I guess I'll grab you. Grab the crystal slimes, grab the boom slimes. Uh, I, I think the gold slime does not despawn thanks to the mods I have installed. So that's good. Uh, we can grab two more of them. Yeah, there's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, we get the Oka Okas here too. Yeah, here are the uh, sparkly slimes. We need the Oka Okas. Those are the favorite food of... They're like basically potatoes, right? A tubular mix of color, yeah, colorful uh, spuds. So yeah, they're like basically potatoes. Uh, but they're the favorite food for rat slimes, which is going to be pretty good, especially if we uh, make a Largo out of them, right? They're crystal slimes. I think we need like eight of them, I want to say. And then boom slimes, we have five of them right now. I might grab six. Yeah, I might just grab six just to be safe, just in case we were like missing one or whatever. And at least we'll have it, right? And then we have another uh, sapphire slime right there. We have a Hobson thing right here. I guess we'll read real quick. I once came here to collect crystals for a little project of mine. Was trapped here for nearly two days when those curious crystal slimes came rolling my way and started firing off those dangerous shards. I thought I was going to kick the bucket. The crystals were for a wind chime. I bet Thora still has it hanging from her porch. Worth it. Yeah, didn't we hear, didn't we read or see something about a wind chime? Like, I feel like Thora might have mentioned a wind chime or something like that. And then we read that and I was like, oh my gosh, she does still have the wind chime or something like that. Something. I forget specifically, and I don't believe we're able to go to Thor West's like actual ranch, right? Because didn't wasn't her actual ranch like literally our old ranch because she shared it with uh whatever his name is, Hobson. 
I think that's how the lore goes. I might be a little bit off. I might be a little bit wrong here just because it's been like almost a year since we uh, actually played the base game and I'm obviously going to forget some of the details, right? But while we're here in the uh, in the Indigo Quarry, remember, we do have a drill. So I guess we'll place one of them down over here. Yeah, we have a novice drill can be uh, is installed permanently until Dimash. I've got how many uses this has, but yeah, in 12 minutes, we'll come back and hopefully we'll have like diamonds or something that's actually worth a lot of money, right? So I know it's fine now. Let's just go back home and uh, start thinking about ending off the episode here pretty soon, you guys. These guys are still happy. Yep. I'm like, they've got plenty of Q-berries and regular pogo fruit inside there. So obviously they'll be happy, right? So shouldn't be too surprised by that. But we do have two more gold, like just regular gold slimes right now, which is so insane. We found two of them like right next to each other, basically. So I guess we'll just put this guy and these guys in there and there you go. <laughs> They're just going to be bouncing around and look at that. Oh my gosh. How many plorts? There's one outside, but I'll grab that. But yeah, there, there's like endless just st Oh, yeah, 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 let's go do the mission real quick before it like expires or whatever, right? Yeah, I'm glad I got six uh, boom floors. I had five earlier. I'm gra glad I and then we only need four of these guys. Oh, we got the tr oh, we finally got the treasure cracker. So now we can actually open up those green uh, treasure pods now, you guys. Awesome. So we have extra crystal slimes and sapphire slimes. I guess we'll put them up over here in storage or something like that. So whoops, those are sapphire. Let's put up the crystal slimes, I guess. Oh, wait, is the sapphire slime just a reskin crystal or is it rock? I've not heard I think it's rock. Yeah, I think it's a rock slime right there. Yeah. And then uh, we have Oka Okos over here. I don't know. We could put those up in storage over here. And uh, whenever we have rad slimes up and uh, doing whatever, we could actually just feed them to them. And then uh, we'll get a bunch of money off them, right? Or plorts or whatever. But there you go. Feed them to them. Get a bunch of money. Then uh, we have a bunch of these here. So I guess we'll put those up inside the decorizer, which I think is over here, right? Yeah, it's over here, so I think we could actually deposit them like so. Cool. Pink ornament, and then uh, more of these ornaments here. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> then I guess we'll sell a random gold plort here for uh, 370. Sure, why not? Then I think we need four tabby slimes, right? So let's go over here to the tabby, like where the tabby gordo used to be, right? Then we could actually grab some of the uh, some of the tabby slimes, and then we'll be good to go, and we can end off the episode, right? Yeah, a lot of... I don't, I don't know if you'd call it progress, but we got a lot of exploration, a lot of research done this episode, which is kind of crazy. We need to make sure we actually get the, yeah, the actual tabby slimes. We need, like, I think we need four of them, but I might grab five just to be safe. Yeah, we have four there. We need to grab them before they turn to the Largos, and they're all turning to the Largos right now, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we need three. I don't know. I guess we'll go back real quick. Let's go, let's go check, uh, what is his name? I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, and then we have these crates here. I keep forgetting about that. Know. We can open those up. Uh, I don't know, maybe a uh, tab. Oh, yeah, and then you guys actually did say to unlock this over here. What is this called again? The docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep down in this great blue sea, I saw a thousand slimes smiling back at me. I guess we could buy that real quick for 5,000. Uh, 5,000? I don't even know. Is it missing from my bank account? <laughs> Like, we have so much money on episode, like, five or whatever this is. It's insane, you guys. Those gold slimes that we found on episode one absolutely spoiled the series. But then again, it is modded. That's kind of the point of it. It's, we're just having fun with mods over here, right? Then, uh, yeah, I should probably uproot this. I don't know. I, I might just keep it at, as is, honestly. Just so we have even more heartbeats. Yeah, we're just going to get even more money out of all of these guys because we get double ports out of them from the rock and gold uh, Largo combination we have, right? But let's go. Uh... Oh, yeah, we only need four. Okay, cool. There you go. Awesome. So what do we get? Oh, yeah, we got a gold. We got a diamond thing. What's it called? Strange diamond. Very strange, but even more valuable. Yeah, we need to go donate that or uh, uh, whatever you'd want to call it into the slime science area because we need that for crafting. I forget specifically what you need it for, but it's something good, obviously, because it needs a heckin diamond. <laughs> then, yeah, we have these reef, reef crates. So uh, we got some we got slimes and vegetables right there and a fruit. OK, I guess I can't complain about that. <laughs> strange diamond. Let's put that up over there. Oop, there you go. Cool. Then we got rock slimes and yeah, we don't have any uh any any plorts or anything like that to deposit. So I guess we'll just keep it as is. Then stony hens, I don't know. Uh, I guess we go feed that to someone or something or I don't know. Maybe we'll just put it in our coop. I don't know. Oh yeah, wait, what happened here? What? Wait, how did this go? Hold on, they're starting to escape. Uh oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh there he is, there he is, there he is. Yeah, they're starting to escape because the airnet is like hitting its limit or whatever, right? Did we upgrade the airnet? Battery upgrade. Triples the capacity for the port protector's battery. I don't think we need that. And then miniature. I guess we'll do miniaturizer just to make them even smaller. But then again, if, then again, if I make them smaller, they're not likely to hit the carrots as much, right? Slime sprinkler. Solar shield music box. Maybe I'll do the music box to reduce slime agitation. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. I guess I'll do it anyways. It's so cheap. I'm not even going to notice it. Ugh. 
let's increase the storage capacity as well so we get even more uh, room for all their ports right but uh ghost slime yeah we'll put them back in there yeah every time they bounce they do hit the air net and then after a while the air net does give and they go through the uh air net right so uh that, that's how they escape i guess if anything i'll just have to keep my eyes peeled on them or maybe i'll move them over honestly i might do that I might move these guys over to the grotto, just in case they do escape, it's more an enclosed area and they're not like out in the open like this. Yeah, that, that's probably a better idea, honestly. <laughs> then we have uh, stony hens over here, cuberries. These guys eat... Yeah, these guys eat vegetables, so they're not going to eat that, but they all eat the heartbeat right there. These guys eat fruit, so I'll give them the cuberry and the poker fruit, so uh, there you go. Then uh, we have a random rock slime right there. I don't know, I guess we can do this and then feed them in a uh, gold plort and then we'll get... Oh my gosh, we have 70 gold plorts right there. <laughs> Hold on. We need to give the, uh... Ah, I'm getting killed. And then we have a rock toy right there. Man, it must be getting suctioned up or something like that. I'm, g I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed. I need to give you... Ah, oh, man. Where is he? There he is right there. There he is right there. Ah, I'm trying to suction him up so we can turn him to a gold. No! Man, and then everything in here is just, like, tiny because everything is miniaturized or whatever. Oh, okay, I got him. So it's... Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, perfect. So let's do this. So now everything's kind of settled down a little bit. Give him a plort. Hopefully east. No, he got sectioned up, man. Oh, there's two random gold plorts right there. That's kind of surprising. Let's give you a plort. There we go. It worked. Awesome. Okay, let's put you back into here. And then you get, oh, whoops. <laughs> and then you get shrunk. And then now we have 12 of these guys. So we actually have a dozen gold rock uh, largos in here. And they're all eating heartbeats, giving us double plorts and stuff. It's insane. And there's 80 rock plorts right there. Oh, wait, no. 82. That's... This could hold almost, like, 300, I'd say. Like, 100 is probably, like, right there. This could probably hold, like, 300, 400, 500 or so plorts. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is getting pretty close to... Oh, my gosh. There's just unlimited amount of money in here. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'll just end off the video right here. Things are just getting absolutely out of whack. The video is, like, 50 minutes long. You guys are probably wanting more of it, but I need to end it off right here. Because I need to end it off eventually, right? <laughs> and there's more plorts spawning in over here. This is insane. But anyways... Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Modded Slime Rancher comes out. Air Drive. Oh yeah, we got we got some upgrades over here. Yeah, we got the treasure cracker, so now we can open up green treasure pods. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Eh, 4,500. And then the air drive, enhanced jetpack thrusters that consume 20% less energy. Ooh, but produce double the fun. For only 500, yeah, obviously we're going to be doing that, right? <laughs> so now our jetpacks are a little bit upgraded, which is really, really good. But, uh, and then, yeah. Even more plorts over here. Even more plorts behind us. Oh my gosh. Just an unlimited amount of money over here, you guys. Absolutely insane. Completely unnecessary. Already over 40. I can't even carry all these. And they're spawning in even more of them as I'm talking. Already did the outro and everything like that. So, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Modded Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there.